Ice fishing is a tradition on the Great Lakes, but it does come with its dangers. Jeremy Beecher joins us now here in the studio with a look at a product that could save your life. Jeremy? Yeah, well, Sean, you never want to go in the water, but what if you do? Well, today we went out on the lake to find out. Last week in Ohio, a reminder of ice fishing's dangers. An ice flow broke off the shore near Toledo, stranding hundreds of fishermen on Lake Erie. One of them died after falling into the frigid lake. So while you never want to go in the water, as we've seen, it can happen. Today we're going to test out one product that could save your life. The magic really to the product is the patented lining that we have, which is called Insultex. Uh, and it's 100% waterproof, windproof, very breathable. It's extremely lightweight, and the, the fact uh, that it's buoyant is probably why we're talking here today. Those are some big claims, so we decided to put Arctic Armor to the test. Yeah. The result? Oh, that's cold. <laughs> so I'm definitely... Completely floating right now. Oh, it's so cold. The freezing water did seep into the suit, but no matter how wet it got, the Arctic armor kept me floating on my back without any effort at all. Provides enough buoyancy for three people. So if uh, you're with a couple of your buddies and you're the only guy to have it on, you f happen to fall through the ice, uh, it will it'll keep you buoyant as well as two other people hanging on to you. That buoyancy meant I could spend all my energy trying to get back on top of the ice instead of just keeping my head above water. So what is the verdict? Well, I mean, I am a little bit wet, but my head is dry, my body is warm, and most importantly, I got myself out of the ice and I'm here walking around. So all in all, I would call this suit a success or at least a chilly success. Locally, you can find Arctic Armor at the Erie Sports Store. Uh, Selena and Sean. <laughs> Thank you so much, yeah, Good to see him safe and sound back <laughs> in the studio. That's right.